okay so let's look at perpendicular lines now when we say two lines are perpendicular we mean the product of their slope or the product of their gradient is negative one so let's assume so gradient of m1 okay let's let's say k and that of m2 is b so k times b is negative one okay that's that so the slope m1 times m2 is negative one so with this you can also say m1 the same as negative one over m2 all right so it follows that the gradient of the other okay is the negative reciprocal so in find m1 is the same as negative one over m2 and vice versa so we can also say if we want this the same as negative one over m1 so with the perpendicular lines anytime you are solving equation of a line okay and the question says the line with the equation so so and so is perpendicular to that now if you see that what you should think is that finding the slope of the two lines will be negative one and that's all so it wasn't like a line with equation so and so is perpendicular to another line find the value of so with this you have to find the two slope multiply them and equate it to negative one as simple as that and under equation of a line anytime here perpendicular it means the slope uh, find the slope must be it's a must okay my negative reciprocal of your result let's assume the gradient is four so if it is perpendicular it will be negative one over four all right so we are going to solve examples okay so we have the line with equation 2x minus y plus 1 equal to 0 is perpendicular to the line ax minus 3y plus 5 equal to 0. Find A. So just as I said, the line with equation this is perpendicular to that. So we need the slope of this, then that of that. Okay. When we finish, multiply the two gradients and equal it to negative 1 that's all so from the first line you can say 2x plus 1 equals y okay therefore my m1 that is my first gradient is 2 as simple as that you have to make y the subject here so let's go for m2 Let's make y the subject here. So I'll keep ax plus 5 and send the minus 3y to the other side. So divide 2 by 3, I'll get a over 3x plus 5 on 3 goes to y. So my m2 here is a on 3. So with the perpendicular, okay, m1 times m2 is negative 1 as simple as that so m1 is 2 times m2 a on 3 plus negative 4 so multiply 2 by 3 so we have 6 
sorry so this side is same as 2a the same as minus 3 so we have a as minus 3 on 2 as simple as that okay so let's find the equation of the line which passes through the point 1 3 and perpendicular to the line 3y minus 2y minus 3x minus one equal to 0 okay so equation of a line is given by half y minus y1 x minus x1 okay so we need our slope so let's find our slope here we have 2y 3x plus 1 divide 2 by 2 so we have my ingredient as 3 on 2 so because of the perpendicular here so we take negative 1 over the gradient which will be minus 2 on 3. So the difference between parallel and then perpendicular is that now with the perpendicular, we take negative reciprocal of the gradient. But the parallel, we don't do anything to the gradient. Okay. All right, so we have y minus so this is the point x1 y1 minus 2 on 3 x minus x1 so we have 3 y minus 9 plus minus 2 x plus 2 so this 3 will multiply this then the minus 2 here was much part of the bracket. So minus 2x minus 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 2 times minus 1 minus minus plus. So we have 3y plus 2x. So plus 2 in will be minus 2. So minus 11 equals to 0. Okay. All right. So that's that. So in our next lesson, we are going to look at more examples on this. Okay, thanks for watching.